Hi, my name is Alex Kim, and I have been a part of Hope Zen since 2018. Now, I had first heard about Hope Zen during a medical staff meeting where Dr. Dale Coy presented his experiences in Guatemala. And from that time, I really felt like this was a great opportunity for my kids and I to leave the comforts of our neighborhoods and homes and travel to someplace that we'd never been to and really uh, do something impactful, do something selfless for a group of people that we had no connection to. One experience that really stands out was in one of the first few clinics that I staffed in Guatemala. It was a mom and a daughter. The mom brought in her daughter because she was having pain and she was saying that she couldn't hear. So I examined the girl and she had just wax and debris and drainage in both her ears. Uh, unfortunately, the equipment that I had, I had just limited access to things. So I had to jerry-rig something and then create a little suction device. So I went in and carefully cleaned out the right ear and then carefully cleaned out the left ear. As I was cleaning the ears out, I saw there were tears coming from the little girl's eyes. And then I just, I kind of stopped for a second and then uh, I, I was thinking like, oh my gosh, I just hurt this little girl and she's crying and she's so upset. But it turned out that she was actually crying because she was happy. She was full of joy because all of a sudden she could hear her mother's voice. She could hear the sounds and the noises and the other people's voices around her because for so long she'd been completely cut off and she couldn't hear anything. Um, and that, that sudden awareness and ability to hear brought her to tears of joy. Now selfishly, I actually thought that this experience would be something that would change my kids' lives and open their eyes. And, and to, to a degree it did. Um, but actually, I also found out that it really affected me too. I've seen what Hope Sin has done for the people in Guatemala in the past. I am seeing what they're doing now. And I also got a glimpse of what Hopeson is planning to do for the people of Guatemala in the future. Um, and that, that's actually inspired me. Um, I've gone back for a second trip. I've joined the medical committee and I've been privileged enough to serve on the executive committee, all in the hopes that when we go back, and we will go back, we will continue to make as an organization, Hope Sin will continue to make a tremendous impact for the people and the families in Guatemala.